Uh, Jim Coleman, uh, I've had the pleasure of, of knowing Jim Coleman as well as many of my colleagues here, uh, Ken and Carl Finger and, and others, uh, Eric Abraham and others who have uh, uh, over the years, um, um, you know, uh, led the battle in Albany for, uh, uh, you know, some good legislation for the, uh, for the uh, association, uh, whether it be on the builder side with vested rights or, um, or a secret reform. Or uh, you know, containing the uh, desire to change the uh, the uh, assessment for co-ops and condos, whatever the whatever the battle, we'd be going up to Albany, and it was our pleasure over the years to uh, meet a gentleman uh, of great uh, skill and, and 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 great charm, I must say, and and just great affability and and uh, and uh, talent as Jim Coleman, and. Uh, <laughs> I haven't used those words in 20 years, by the way. <laughs> but uh, but no, seriously, uh, uh, it's true. And and you know, it's a funny thing as as careers develop and proceed, whatever. It's a very small county, and as it turns out, it's a very small state. Mm -hmm. Because it was my great pleasure to uh, to hear back in March, I believe, that all those wonderful qualities that uh, Jim Coleman has didn't go unnoticed with our county executive Rob Astorino, and uh, Rob. Uh, appointed Jim uh, executive director of the county's industrial development agency now I'm not going to go you know there, there's a little bit on the intro about the I, what the IDA does I'm going to leave that up to Jim but clearly about a year and a half ago we had uh, the Yonkers the head of the Yonkers IDA come and and and, and speak you know when you're the head of the IDA you're really a chief economic development officer you're a real booster for either the city or the county and uh, there are a lot of ways to, to do business with agencies like this and to invest with agencies like this with the bonds they issue. So I'll let him go into that. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, uh, Rob Estrino couldn't have picked a, uh, a finer candidate and, and a better guy for the job. So without, as Jimmy Durante would say, without further ado, uh, let me introduce Jim Coleman. Uh, Al's been a great friend, Ken, when I was with Senator Greg Ball, and they taught me a lot about the challenges that you're confronted with on a daily basis uh, in the building sector. And the building sector is very important to New York, and so in knowing Al and Ken, I reached out to Al, and I've always admired him. He's, uh, he's a great fighter. I can tell you I've seen him in Albany when I was in the uh, legislature with uh, Senator Greg Ball. He is heart-charging and he is a great advocate and together he and I we can really be advocates together for you you are more than welcome on behalf of County Executive Rob Astrino to come over to the county building at any time to give me a call I'm going to take you through all of the wonderful programs that we have available I don't want them to be a secret to you mm -hmm. uh, and if you need me to give you a refresher or if you've got a client or even your own business where you run into an issue where you might want to use some of the tools that we're going to talk about tonight Please do not hesitate. We are, I'm your advocate, Al's your advocate. We will work together to make sure that you're fully informed about all these wonderful programs. It is a pleasure to be in a room with so many great job creators. The county executive is very uh, focused on making sure that we are doing everything possible to protect the interests of our job creators. We've got about 25,000 of our residents here in Westchester County that are currently looking for jobs. And the county executive believes the best way that we can help them to find jobs is to help the job creators. And the best way we can do that is taking you through these wonderful programs that we have. I want to introduce you to our uh, economic development team. It's led, of course, by the county executive, County Executive Rob Astorino, as well as the deputy county executive, who also happens to be, his name is Kevin Plunkett. A lot of you in here probably already know Kevin. I mean, he knows everybody. I mean, he knows everybody throughout the country. He is, he's kind of my hero, someone I look to of being more of He's the connector. He can connect you with whoever you need to meet. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is also the vice chairman of the Industrial Development Agency and the vice chairman of the Local Development Corporation. I'll go into the details on those two organizations, but they really are the main drivers behind economic development. Eileen Mildenberger, she's the director of economic development. She builds our pretty much the uh, marketing, the advertising about what we're trying to do and the outreach. And I lead up the Industrial Development Agency the Local Development Corporation, as well as the MWBE program, and anything that you can think of that a small business needs, I'm that person. I am your advocate of being able to help you to grow your business. If we can help you to grow, expand, guess what? You're going to put more of your family members to work. You're going to put more uh, members in the community to work, and that's going to help everybody here in Westchester County when we have our strong business uh, community. 
This is the county executive's model, and he calls it connecting you with success. I'm here tonight <coughs> to connect you with all different ways that we can, we think can help you to grow your business. The first thing is, is that we're doing a massive outreach. I'm going out to chamber meetings, rotary clubs, I'm speaking at churches. I mean, I've, this week I probably have spoken about eight different times to different organizations. So we're doing our best to get out and to spread the word. I'm asking you to take this information tonight and also share it with your colleagues and others that you may know, your clients, to make sure that they are fully in the loop on all these programs. Through that outreach, what we're trying to do is to connect you to good business coaching, business planning, resources, all these programs, by the way, that we offer, they're all free to you. And they're free to you not because we're charging the tax to you, but because of the proceeds that we get when we charge small fees on the transactions. And I'll talk about how we charge these transactions when we do a deal with MasterCard or when we do a deal with uh, Pace University, $100 million a couple weeks ago. We charge a small fee that allows it to build up over time to be able to put that money right back in the market through the programs you're going to see here tonight. So we've got everything from coaching, training programs on how to manage IT, how to manage your accounting. If you don't want to be there as the CEO of your company, send one of your employees. It's all free. We're going to take you through it tonight. The next thing that we do is to try to connect you to uh, capital and tax incentives. I mean, I've got a, each of you have a packet here, and I'll go through this at the end. This packet, for some of you, could be worth $10,000. For some of you, it could be worth $100 million. It's, this thing is loaded. I feel like Santa Claus when I'm going out. And this, it is, I, my mother was a social worker, and I'm telling you right now, this, I feel like I'm a social worker because I can get out and do some good and lay out programs to our business owners to help them to grow, reduce their cost, improve their revenues, and as a result, put our residents back to work. That's what we're in it for. Today. Uh, I'm I sorry. Need you need to oh, thank you for catching that. Of course it's going to do that while... Uh, no, no, no. Write that, you all? No. 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 Hey, I'm just kidding. Right. Thank you. Thank you. No, keep coming. Keep it out. I mean, I'm getting all into it. I thought that was a time. So the next phase is connecting you to capital and tax incentives. So we're going to talk about the different ways we can get you money through the IDA, as well as I've been getting out so much that I've built up pretty much uh, a portfolio of banks and other people that can help you to get the financing you need. The bottom line is, is that if you need money, I'm going to fight like crazy to help you get the money, okay? Whether that's a thousand dollars or a hundred million dollars, and I'm going to push real hard. I mean, I on the pace deal that we closed, uh, we got that deal done in 30 days, and I told the lawyers, I said, look, I'm from Kentucky. I grew up on a small pig farm. I barely. I, I graduated from Howard University, but not the honors I got were, uh, thank you, Lordy, for letting me out. Okay? <laughs> so I, I don't claim to be an expert. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a banker, and I'm not an accountant. But I told the lawyers and accountants on that deal, we're going to get this deal done in 30 days. If not, I'm calling Rob. Okay? <laughs> I'm calling Rob. You do not want me to have to call Rob. I've got his cell phone number. I will text him. You do not want me to have to call Rob. And guess what? We got the deal done in 30 days. A hundred million dollars, okay? So whether it's $1,000 or $100 million, I'm going to fight like crazy to help you to get the capital selfishly for the county so you can put our residents back to work, okay? That's really what, is, that's what I'm here to beg you to do if you use these resources. Then we want to connect you with contracting opportunities. We're talking about doing business with the county, with the state, with the federal government. We've got all kinds of ways of how you can get linked up and being in the know about contracting opportunities for your business. And we want to make sure that you're taking advantage of those. We've had small businesses that are struggling to take on a bid with the county and, and have $600,000 of new revenue come in. And then they get sold where they're growing, then we expose them to federal contracting opportunities. And this is a real story. I'll show you the people in the story where they want to bid with the MTA a $3 million bid. So if we can help you to get a contract with the county, I, I want to do that. If you want to meet any of the commissioners, you just let me know. We'll get you in there, okay? We will get you in. So connecting you with contract opportunities. The next area is connecting you to a skilled workforce. We've got a great workforce here in Westchester County, and we've got a great database that I'm going to tell you about, and we've got some great programs to help you to even offset your cost when you put one of our residents back to work. It, it is, it's rocking and rolling. Let's talk about the training and development that we offer for businesses, uh, no matter if you're small or large, all these programs are available. The biggest provider is the Procurement Technical Assistance Center. Her name is Liz Kalin. Through the IDA, we provide her with a lot of money, you all. If you're not using it, you're wasting the dollars. This is available to any of you in this room. The contact information is in the pamphlet. Liz Kalin is the person that will hook you up with federal contracts. If you're looking to do business with the federal government, she will help you to create the right marketing plan, 
to going after federal business. It's good business. You can get paid every two weeks. It helps your cash flow. She has literally had it to work. Uh, you can see me at this one training program where, where she and I did a program, and two entrepreneurs from there ended up getting major contracts with the federal government shortly after this training program. So if you're looking to get federal contracts, she will help you to get it. She, we're paying her to help you. The other uh, firm is the Service Corps of Retired Executives. This is a group of executives. Some have been CEOs of companies, VPs of marketing, VPs of finance. They're there, and again, they're sponsored by us to help you. If you want to redo your business plan because you're looking to expand or looking to get more financing, they will help you with a business plan, a marketing plan. They'll coach you on different ways of how to get financing. They are available to you, and they love to be able to help our businesses. Uh, SCORE Westchester is the best chapter in New York. The reason why is that we have helped to promote their training programs. We have encouraged entrepreneurs to call them up. And last year, they helped to launch over 570 new businesses here in Westchester County. By being out there, making it happen, me going out, talking every night about them, and it's really moving the needle here in Westchester County. <clears throat> when you look at the other programs, Professional Development Center of Westchester Community College, they're another great partner. They're great at business plans, marketing plans. The other partner down there, Women's Enterprise Development Center. Any woman here tonight that has a business that you're looking to grow, they will help you. They've got a 60-hour course that will change the world for you. Again, we give all these folks a lot of money. And I've, if you want to call me and you're too afraid to call, call me and I'll do a conference call. And Susan is on the line. She owns a great contracting firm and she's looking to expand. Can she go an XYZ program? Please take advantage of these programs. They will help you. They want to. I, want, I told all of the providers and partners, I want to give you even more money. If you can help our entrepreneurs to become wealthy and successful and help to put our residents back to work, I will fight in the IDA to help you to get way more money to help you to train more of our uh, business businesses here in Westchester. Connecting you to capital. These are my two favorite uh, firms to work with. Uh, they're great at being able to help any small business. It's been a tough economy. So no matter how large or small you are, or how small your company is, they can help you to get capital. Community capital up there at the top, uh, you can get in touch up there with uh, Holly Perlwitz. She is great. They'll loan you money from $1,000 to $50,000. They've helped the Peekskill Coffee House. They gave them the first $50,000, and they have not looked back you all. They called them up one day and said, look, you know, we're sorry we didn't call you, but we called HSBC and we borrowed $4 million. We're sorry. They said, that's exactly what we wanted you to do, to give you the seed capital and the help when you needed it so that you could get on track, start making revenue so you can go mainstream and call one of these major commercial banks to where they would give you a real loan and help you to really expand. Down there at the bottom, the New York Business Development Corporation, uh, that's Tamara Underwood. I've seen her. I've got several deals out there right now where she's helping to finance deals at $5 million, $8 million. She can go all the way up to $10 million in helping you to get the financing you need. It's SBA back. She'll work with you. Don't be afraid. If you have had a challenging time and your balance, uh, your, your balance sheet looks a little rough right now, if you got bad credit, who cares? Don't give up. I'm telling you, I'm begging you right now. Do not give up. Everybody's having a hard time, okay? Everybody's had a tough time since 2009, and it's still a soft economy, okay? These two folks, uh, they, are, they are wonderful angels, and they are available to help anytime, 24-7. I've called them on Sunday to say, call XYZ, call Albert, he's launching a new business, or he needs a $5 million loan. And I get on them, you all, because I want them to deliver. <clears throat> Let's move to the next slide here. I get real caught up when I'm talking about the, the capital side. <laughs> Westchester uh, Industrial Development Agency. Um, I was appointed to the Westchester Industrial Development Agency last uh, April the 8th by the county executive. I've known him for 10 years. It is an honor to uh, be the executive director of the Industrial Development Agency. Here are three things that we do at the IDA. Bottom line is, is we're trying to figure out how to help more companies to move here to Westchester, whether it's coming from Connecticut, New Jersey, California, wherever. I'm out right now daily talking to commercial real estate agents and banks to try to get in the loop on who's moving here. And here's what you should tell them to get them to move here. So we're focused on how do we get more businesses to move here, as well as we're focused on how do we help our existing companies here to grow and to expand thereby creating more jobs, again, for all of our residents. We do this in three different ways. The first is, is that we offer sales tax exemptions on the build-out. Everybody here knows what the build-out. A wonderful office, You're, everything that you would see in this room right now, the table, the computer, the chairs, uh, the furniture, the carpet, everything that you would use in the build-out of any office space, 
we will provide a sales tax exemption letter so that you do not have to pay sales taxes on all of the purchases. Uh, we can do that if you're a, a building owner. We can do this for your tenants. We can do this for any tenants that are seeking to expand. It helps you to be competitive. You don't always have to lower your costs. We can come in and save money on the sales tax exemption. We had Robert Weiss in this morning on one of his major projects. And because of one of his tenants, uh, Bo uh, Bosey's, I, I saw somebody tonight, I thought, with a Bosey's tag on, it seems like. But uh, he moved Bosey's in. They're going to have about 25 new teachers. And we were able to help Bosey's and him to being able to reduce the cost of that renovation. He's taken out $15 million on a loan to do all of the renovation work we provided. The next step is the mortgage recording tax. In New York, when you own property and you uh, take out a mortgage or if you buy a piece of property, if it's $15 million, we can give you get rid of that 1.3% mortgage recording tax that you would normally have to pay. It, it saves a lot of money, you all. And you all know every dollar counts. If it's a $10 million loan, and we can save you $130,000 by just coming to the IDA and having me to get you up in front and you know, getting you ready for the meeting and do a quick slide or two up there and walk out with 130000 mm -hmm. That is rocking. Isn't it, you all? Is that rocking? Yeah. If you want that, I will help you. I love doing it. I, we we love you. I had an IDA board meeting this morning and an LDC board meeting. Uh, Robert Weiss called me just last week. He said, Jim, I hate to call you at the last minute. I said, what can we do for you, Mr. Weiss? He said, I really need to get this done because I'm going to close you on the 16th. I said, you come on in. You tell me what that is. You send me the letter and the you know, what the top line is, we'll get that done. And I will help coach you. I will get you ready. I'll tell you who's going to vote which way. I am here to say yes. Okay, i got enough board members, and they're all accomplished business people. But I'm here to help you to get the resources you need, okay, to drive your business. So that's the mortgage recording tax. The third thing that we offer with the IDA is tax-exempt bond financing. That's, this is a great way of being able to help you to get access to capital at a very low cost. Tax exempt bond financing is available to you, and the reason why it's at a lower cost than a commercial bank is because the bond holders who are actually putting up the money for these transactions, we're not using your tax dollars again. This is not a burden on our taxpayers. This is all going to the market and getting institutions, individual investors to buy these bonds and putting up the capital, and because they're not having to pay federal, state, or local taxes on it, they're willing to go at a lower interest payment. Isn't that great? Of anywhere from 100 basis points up to 200 basis points different on what you would have to pay in going to a commercial bank. We're not out there trying to compete with our commercial bank partners out there in, in Westchester County because they can actually buy the bonds themselves. So if they've got a relationship, you've got a relationship with a bank, your banker can be a part of the deal as well, and they can come in and buy all the bonds, thereby helping to put up the capital, and they can then use it to create more revenue for their company. But it's a great way to be able to grow your business. The neat thing about this is that we can go down to a million dollars on an issue. So if you need a million dollars and it's feasible, uh, we will help you to get the money that you need. There's only one second. I hate to tell you all this because I would, I would give uh, tax exempt bonds to a bagel cart. I mean, I would. <laughs> but they won't let me. They won't. I grew up in Kentucky. This is one guy who used to sell carpet. He said, I don't care about making money. I just love to sell carpet. I feel like that sometimes. I don't care how big money. And Rob's not into trying to charge a lot of fees for this. Hey, Rob, ask me, you, know, you can be assured, he is not into us charging a lot of fees. He wants us to get money into your hands so that you can do good work and build and grow and put our people back to work. But the bottom line is, on these taxes and bond uh, financing, we can go down to a million dollars if you need it, and I'll work with you. The only sector that we can't help you all is the retail sector. And retail is pretty broad, and this was just decided last year with the governor and the legislature. Uh, I told Al, Al, please, that you all are, look at, look at this audience here tonight. Take you all to Albany and fight and tell your legislator and your assemblyman and the governor, we need to include retail. We need to include any job creator here in New York to get mm -hmm. these benefits, okay? And I'll help you to write the letters and all that. But unfortunately, in the state of New York, we can't give these tax incentives or the financing to the retail sector. Number one is because a lot of them, they're making the decision based on the market, not because of whether or not they're going to get a better incentive by staying here or going to Connecticut or Texas. So it's meant to be an incentive to be able to drive you. Not If you've already made the decision to have a Pathmark supermarket on XYZ block, you're making that decision because the market needs it. There are enough people there, the disposable income is there, and you're wanting to make that, and you don't care whether or not you're going to get an incentive. If you have a corporate office, you have a decision to make. You can have that corporate office here in Westchester, or you can have it over in Connecticut. 
we want you to keep it here. In that case, we would be able to help you specifically in your business of being able to take advantage of these benefits. And any of your tenants, if you own a building and you've got a commercial building where you're inviting your tenants, your tenants have access to this. If they're looking to expand or grow, or if you're looking to bring in a new tenant, you gotta call me way before they sign the lease, because if they sign the lease and then you call me, you're asking me to reimburse. <laughs> I'm not in the reimbursement business, you all. You've made a decision at that point. You're here in Westchester. If you call me and say, Jim, I've got this tenant that's thinking about moving in, and I need to be able to help them to get the, mortgage, uh, the sales tax exemption or tax exempt bond financing, I will be able to help you at that point because then we're offering an incentive. It's before they sign. You can have them to sign the lease, just have it contingent upon getting the benefits of the Westchester County IDA. I understand we don't want to hold you back, and I can tell you we're going to move fast on getting them through the process. But don't have them to sign a final lease before they get these incentives, okay? Or you're giving a ton of money away. Let's move into the next uh, big uh, agency that I also manage. It's called the Local Development Corporation. Rob Astrino was successful in working with the legislature last year, just as I was coming on, of being able to help us to launch the Local Development Corporation, another agency that's totally committed to putting capital in the market for our not-for-profits. The not-for-profit sector here in Westchester County hires over, I, I'm kind of Southern, you all, I say hires. Yeah. You all understand when I say hire, I know I should be saying hiring. <laughs> we My got mother it. up in yeah. here saying, baby, say hiring, you're talking to intelligent people right now. <laughs> well, they, they, the uh, not-for-profit sector hires over 55,000 residents here in Westchester County. You're talking about hospitals, universities. Since the launch, April the 8th, when, we, when I came on board, we have put $430 million dollars of tax exempt bond financing into the private into the not for profit sector here in Westchester County in one year. In one year. Pace was a deal. I just closed a deal today with Northern Westchester Hospital, forty three million dollars. These are all massive deals and it's great because they're putting contractors to uh, to work, they're putting construction workers back. Uh, the Pace deal over eight hundred uh, construction tradesmen will have tradesmen and trade lady, I can be saying that uh, trades people will be able to have access to those jobs. Not only that, all of that money, we encourage them to buy locally, to be able to use those resources to buy carpet locally, to buy all of the resources locally, because that will create the indirect jobs from the buying power. The reason why we moved on that pay still so far is they're the 13th largest employer here in Westchester County. They're building two new dormitories. On top of that, they're renovating their athletic fields. They're fixing their campus to where they can attract talent. And then on top of that, they themselves spend over $70 million a year in the Westchester economy. 20,000 of our residents went to PACE. It was strategic for us to be able to help them and to help them fast. Because when I'm out talking to companies over in Connecticut, I'm telling them, yes, our property taxes are high because our parents really do care about their children's education. And if you move your company here, your kids are going to be able to go to public schools that are better than any private school that you can find in the United States. And they're all going to go to Harvard, Stanford, Yale at Howard University. <laughs> okay? And so on top of that though, I talk about our hospitals and our universities because these companies are wondering, you know, if I move over there, can I keep all my employees? Do I lose? Where will I be able to hire uh, more employees? We've got companies here in Westchester County, Intergy's one, where over the next 10, 15 years, they're thinking they could lose anywhere from 40 to 50 percent of their engineers due to retirement. Companies are thinking about where can I move to be able to have the intellectual capital to replenish the talent in my company and Westchester County is your destination. 21 colleges and universities, give me a break. Great hospitals, that's what I sell. So when I am out here trying to help these hospitals and these universities, it's strategic. I'm trying to make us, that's our marketing edge here in Westchester County and it can help all, each of you in being able to get bids, to win contracts with them and to be able to put our residents back to work. Let's keep moving. This is the process. You know, it's pretty similar to like a bank application. We'll have our bond counsel to, you know, he and I will get on the call with you and talk about your project. Then we'll invite you into the first step of coming in to meet with the board. You'll present to the board. The board will pass an inducement resolution saying basically we like what you're saying. We're going to kick the tires, do a lot of due diligence, put all of your closing documents together. Uh, we can have you to come in by that next 30-day board meeting uh, and be able to come in uh, to present your final uh, documents. And within a couple of weeks after that, you can go to closing. We can get this all. We got this done for Pace in 30 days. I'm so proud of that, you all. And the reason why is that's what Rob really believes in. It's being efficient, low cost, and moving fast, not being bureaucratic, and getting it done. 
and that's what he believes in. So this is this is this is on fire, and this is the process that we use for the local development corporation as well as for the IDA on the financing side. Here we're going to talk now about the contracting opportunities. We buy everything in the county from communication services. We are spending two hundred fifty million dollars out of the Department of Public Works. Again, I told Al. And for the executive committee, or if you want to have any of the commissioners to come out, Al, I'll invite whoever you want. Uh, Commissioner Jay Pisco, he has helped me so many times to go out to different chambers and different organizations to talk about contracting. We're spending $250 million on the Department of Public Works, on public works projects. I want every contractor, every plumber, every carpenter, I want everybody in Westchester to know about that. And if you don't want to compete, that's your business. But you can't say that County Executive Rob Astorino didn't tell you that exists and how to get it hooked up. Everybody can compete for these dollars. We would love it if more of our contractors here in Westchester County put bids on this. Uh, the County Executive, during his first term, reduced the cost of government by more than 5%. And a big part of that was through the procurement process, putting it online, making sure that everyone is aware, because the more competition that we have, the competition reduces our cost for our government. We want to have as many of our residents who own businesses to be able to compete and win throughout these different categories. Here's the way to get a hold of all these different ways to doing business with Westchester. Bureau of Purchase and Supplies, simply go to westchestergov.com. I've got in the pamphlet here a page on contracting, so you'll see in your pamphlet of where to go. But just simply start off by going to westchestergov.com. You'll see up there at the top doing business with uh, Westchester County, and it's real simple. Just put in your information for your company, hit send, and we get it. You'll start getting email alerts about the upcoming bids for your particular category, and you'll be in the loop. Okay? When you respond, you'll do well. If you are price competitive, responsive, you, if you're a smaller contractor, you certainly can work with the GCs. We've got what we call Westworks. Let me move into that real quick. I'm, how am I doing on time now? I can get way off here. Westworks. Okay. Westworks gives you all of the detail. It is a directory of all the GCs that are on all of our products. They are looking for high quality uh, subcontractors. So this comes out every single week, this uh, Westworks, and you can get this online at the westchestergov.com. And to see, and you can get in touch with the GCs on a given project with us and to let them know that you're available to provide services as a subcontractor. Let's go into. This is the state and federal MWBE process for minorities and women. Uh, Liz Kalin is good at helping to, she'll walk you by hand to get you the certification you need to be a certified MWBE. It's great for going after federal business as well as state business. And uh, Liz is available to help you with that. This is, uh, this, is, this is one of my fun areas and I'm just about done now. This is, you're all going to be talking in tongues when I get through with this one. This is, <laughs> this is going to knock you out. This, is, this, one, this one is, this is my favorite. Turn to this page. Everybody pull this up, pack it out, and get to this page right here. This is one of the most fun programs. Al, if you all aren't using this program, then, I, you know, all right, let's move the floor. Let's, let's give up. I mean, you all can't. If I can't get some takers on this program tonight, everybody turn to this page, and I want to explain it clearly. Because everybody that owns a business in this room should be able to use this program. If you can't, then... I'm going to call me and I'm going to take you over to one stop and get you a job. <laughs> get out of what you're doing and call me tomorrow and I will walk you over, get your resume done, and we'll get you a job at Whole Foods. Okay? Come on. Come on. Everybody can use this. It's called Hire Westchester. County Executive Rob Astorino believes, you know, there, there's unemployment for our residents that don't have jobs. But he said, Jim, we got to come up with a program to help the job creators. He said, get me a program and let's get it funded by the IDA that can help to offset the cost and give our job creators the incentive to put our residents back to work. So here's what we came up with. With his leadership, we came up with a program that if you hire anyone in Westchester who is currently unemployed in your company, whether if it's through full-time, part-time, or seasonal, we're good so far, you all. Yeah. Part-time, full-time, or seasonal. And if you're willing to pay anywhere from 10 to $25 an hour we will cover the cost up to 50% of their salary for the first three months that you hire them. Mm -hmm. do, I hear any, do I hear any takers? Yeah. Right. I mean, do I hear any witnesses that can take a hold of this? I mean, is that rocking you? We pay yeah, you in church. cash. This is not a trick. It's not like you got to call your accountant and say, now how do we get this? It's not the tax credits. It's so simple that all you have to do is call Bob Weiss. At the bottom, Bob, 914-995-4976. Yeah. 
You can call Bob tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. I literally have had people, when they get this, they call and they get it done. And the forms aren't going to take it there. It's about two pages. You fill it out, top line. Give us the information at the end of each month, you know, stubs and all the information that Bob's going to ask. And we will reimburse up to 50% of the first three months of your new employee salary. So if you're looking to hire a summer uh, employee, if you're looking to hire a summer intern, if you're looking to hire somebody part-time, do it. Do it. We will cover up to 50% of the first three months of their income, part-time, full-time, or seasonal. You can, it's perfect for the construction business. It's perfect. It's cash reimbursement. Please use this program you want. This is a gift from Rob Esperino to you. He told me to please, Jim, make sure you cover it. If you have any questions, call me, but call Bob and get signed up. So where does this money come from? Good question. I'm glad you asked because it's not tax dollars. Rob Esperino does not believe in raising taxes and giving, you know, that's a game. That's a show game. But raise your taxes and give it back. Come on, who get that? Rob is a businessman. We do this by, by charging the small fees. When Robert Weiss came in and wanted uh, the sales tax exemption, he gets it, but we charge 5% of the savings. And he gladly is happy because he still gets 95% of the savings, right? Yeah, yeah. And everybody else in here would be happy. When I did that deal, when I do a deal like uh, Joel Monty came in this morning, won $23 million for a great housing project he's going to do down in New Rochelle. $23 million, I'm charging 1%. Why is he glad? Because it's still cheaper than going to the commercial market, and I can move faster, okay? I am going to be committed and getting that done. Well, with that over time, I can't tell you how much, because you all go crazy. But when I got this job and saw that account, and saw how much it's been built up, I'm like, why are we saving the money? Why? We need to be going to BRI and telling them about some programs that we put this money out and use that. So that's where we get the money. Interesting. The big companies pay for this so we can help our small companies who are doing most of the hiring. Does that make sense to you all? Yeah. Yeah, Does yeah, that make sense? Makes sense. <laughs> so that's why I'm out trying to do big deals. We're trying to do it so we can outrun the spending. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's how we pay for it. Is that creative? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not yeah. a burden at all on our taxes. By the way, uh, by the way, we're segueing right in, which is great. We're okay. segueing right into the questions. I ask that you, and this is the Cecil B. DeMille and me. Could you just get up, identify yourself, and ask your question? And not only you, Alan, but everybody Use else. One stop. Use okay. one stop, and I'll like one stop is that I don't know if you if you haven't used it. One stop is where you can post a job that you've got available tomorrow morning. Bob's gonna say post it. He's gonna say Westchester Putnam one stop dot com. That's how you're gonna post a job. If you have a family member or a relative or cousin or friend that that's unemployed and that you want to get the job, no problem. Tell them to post it. You'll see him out there and hire him and get. On this program, the pastor of my church, I told him about this. Uh, two days later, uh, this lady, her name is Mary Simpson. She said, "Rev, I'm trying to get a job at the Doral Airwood, but they can only pay me twelve dollars." I said, "That don't make no sense. They could be paying y'all twenty-five, twenty, twenty-five dollars." He called me. He said, "You got to call the Doral Airwood because they're going to try to have her making twelve dollars. She's going to be paying them to work." <laughs> I called them up told them about this program, not only did they hire her at $20, they hired 13 more employees. That's what I'm talking about. That's good. They hired 13 good. more of our residents. That's good. Al, Al. Yeah, it's got, it's we got, we got, we got, we got, we got Alan Singer. I y'all tired, but I'm excited about this. Okay. If all y'all left out of this. And, and Jim, and Jim, just, Jim, Jim, if you wouldn't mind, repeat the question for people who might not be able to hear it. Alan Singer, my question is on uh, the tax exempt bond yeah. finance. Does it apply to multi, new multifamily jobs, or and if it does, does it does also apply to condos or only rentals? Uh, it, we we can do it if you, for instance, we've done projects where it's got 10 to 20 percent affordable housing component, and it's market rate. Uh, we've been able to help on those types of deals on uh, rentals, uh, where it's helped to be a big boom. It's connected to a restaurant, this particular project I have in mind, where it was going to have an impact on tourism and helping to really drive the economy in the town and to really fire up the town because of the new purchasing power. That's the way we would have to uh, package it. So don't, don't uh, even think that, you know, that I'm going to say no, just call me and let's try to think about it. You know, and I'm going to do my best to try to position it. I'm a salesman, so I'm going to try to help you and look at the, you know, what we have to stick by and do my best. And we'll go in. That's why we talk to the bond council to go to the board to see if it's actually feasible. Okay, but you know, just call me before you think you know it won't work. The only one is that we can't help mostly is retail. That's where I just I just can't help. Yes, in the back. Yeah. Um, 
if an owner of an office building, let's say 30, 40,000 square feet, is going for a loan, and he wants to get the savings on the mortgage recording tax, what are some of the requirements that have to go into that equation? Or That's a good question. What we're really into is that we're, we, we're not directly, it's kind of indirectly where we would help the, the landlord, the owner of the building, but we really have to work with your tenant. Your tenant is the one that is going to be the one creating the jobs, and we have to provide these incentives through your tenant. So if your tenant was called Ajax.com, and they had 50 employees in your facility, and the bill that cost, they would get the sales tax exemption, which then you wouldn't have to lure, you know, that would help to offset your cost. You wouldn't have to lure, you know, it would be, it would help to offset your investment. So you want to introduce them to me and to be involved in the process so that you're able to take advantage of this savings. It can, it can, Talk to the mortgage recording tax and get the financing. For the mortgage recording tax, that's for, again, a business that's going to create 50 or so, you know, whatever amount of jobs. You're buying a building and you're going to put in a manufacturing site. Uh, that's going to create jobs and that, that's a business. Um, in that case, you would get the mortgage recording tax. The 1.3% would be exempt. Unfortunately, it's not designed where it's for a landlord where you buy a building, you get it, and then you wait to bring in tenants. It's designed really to help your tenants, but that's a benefit still to you. Getting them a sales tax exemption is major because that helps to offset your cost. Okay. Any other, any other, any other questions? Yes. You, have to yeah. lure, you might not even have to lower your rent as much. You know, you could be competitive. If you're smart about knowing these programs, you know, they might say, well, I'm paying such and such across town. Well, you, here's, what, here's what we're doing here, but I can also get the savings on this on your build-out. It, it's a lot of ways that you all can work if you know you got a pot of money coming. Yes, ma'am. Is the higher Westchester program available to not-for-profits? Yes. It's available to churches, not-for-profits, government entities, everybody here in Westchester. I would love it if most of our small uh, companies took advantage of it. Small companies and small not because they need it the most. But yes, to answer your question, it's available to everybody. It's available to everybody. Get it. I mean, we do have a limited amount of money, so get on it as soon as you can. I mean, we do have it. We do have it. We have time for a couple of more questions. I mean, I mean, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Thank you. I'm just sitting right in front of you. <laughs> That's right. Jim, thank you. Stephen Horton, Nourish Housing Authority. I had a follow-up question on the taxes and bond financing. Mm -hmm. Do you have your own allocation, bond cap allocation? That's a good question. Do you have to get it from the state? That's a good question. On the that? Industrial yeah. Development Agency side, we do get a volume cap. That's more like a budget up to $25 million to spend. A year. And, yes, and if we uh, do need more, then we would have to put in a special request through the CFA process, which is it's challenging. But, you know, it's... Whatever it is, I, as, that's my job is to position it and fight and to go for the money. So on the IDA side, we have up to $25 million a year that we can give out. A first come, first serve? It's first come, first serve. Uh, Joel was in there this morning, one twenty three. I know. He okay. I mean, <laughs> yeah, as soon as we get the letters, Joel's calling. Hello, 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 hello. He's smart. He, he is a you know, good model for you all. He's watching the money. He knows he's it sent us down. I mean, he, he and Robert Weiss, they watch this like it's the stock market. And that's, the way you, that's the way you've got to do it. On the local development corporation side, that's unlimited. That's untapped. That's, if you're building strictly, uh, you know, if you are going to go with a not-for-profit and it's a affordable housing or, you know, if you're a not-for-profit, you're going to go into business, you buy a building, all of that is, you can go up to a billion dollars. It's un unlimited. That's why I can do a hundred million in pace because they're not-for-profit. Jim, on, on the limit for the idea, you said that, you know, if you have to go for more, you have to go to the CFA and CFA and uh, ask for the governor and all that. Uh, is there a role? Uh, can, can organizations like ours and, yes. and, and business council and county associated uh, help in, in letters in, of support? In letters would help. Of support? Absolutely. That's yeah, so, helping me with the economics, yeah. explain it and rationalizing it. Because you ha you would have certainly have jobs. it, have it's it from jobs. us. Yeah. But the more support you can get from great organizations yeah. like BRI, that that's helping. That's very helpful. That's good to know. Politicians, your votes. Yeah. I mean, that's the bottom yeah. line. Uh, we have time for a couple more questions. Uh, any, anybody this have any, any further questions? I'll, I'll oh, no, 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 no. We're going to get you back, back sir. Uh, uh, Gene. Back, I'll bring it to you. Right. Question. With regard to these opportunities that you're saying for the employer, for the employee, mm -hmm. is there a time limit? Like, does the employer have to keep that person on their we job like role? For you we, it's right, but, but is, is, there, I'm sorry, is there a stipulation? We're, we would like for you to make it a permanent... The, the goal would be is that you like them so much that you keep them on board. 
that you don't keep them in farm and get somebody else after three months. The goal is to trick you into liking them so much that they are adding so much value that it hurts your business that's to right. give them up. That's the whole purpose. I mean, that's the bottom line. And, and we know that we know that many of you, that if you try this program and you use it, because the training, it's really about training. The part that I told you about is on-the-job training. That's where you get 50% of their income for the first three months. The other way that you can use this program is that you might have several employees where you bring in a trainer. And that training program for those 25 or 50 employees, it might cost $20,000 for that. We would cover 50% of that total cost. But to answer your question, it is intended for you to love them so much, they're productive, and you're like, they've become so much a good part of my business. I'm, I'm going to promote them, and I've got to replace this job. And use Hire Westchester again because you promoted them. And they're still yeah. with your company. You all with me? Yeah. We're all in this together. We're trying to help our residents to get back to work. When they're working, we can all get more houses built and help people. That's what it's about. Okay, the IDA is holding me accountable though, to try. They're going to look at the numbers and say, did this pay off, Jim, or did we just get money away? Uh, you know, so help me. Help me. I want to keep this program alive. Keep these employees as long as you can. You know, you can use them for seasonal part time. Does uh, does the Hire Westchester program apply to Bronx-based businesses? Yeah, that, uh, if you move, if you move to Westchester, to Westchester? <laughs> <laughs> you have to be a Westchester employer hiring Westchester residents. Does that answer? Is that fair, you all? That's fair. Is that fair? It might change in November. You know where? <laughs> you got a witness. Might, I can't go any further with that. Now. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you might get it. <laughs> Any other right questions? Now it's Westchester. If you like it, move to Westchester and think about us. Think about Rob. Any other uh, further questions for Jim Coleman? Well, please join me in a round of applause for our great program. We love you, Jim. <laughs>